Christmas everyone welcome to my youtube channel once again today we want to talk about how to help a mother whose nipples are inverted so when a mother's nipples are inverted it becomes difficult to attach the baby to the nipple so I'm just going to show you what you can do while at home uh, number one you need to have your hands clean then you can pull your nipples you can be pulling your nipples so that they can come out you pull the nipples you keep on doing it not just once but every other time you keep doing that while the baby is not breastfeeding and then uh, the second option that you can do you can even combine them you can use a syringe this one here is a syringe but i would want you to use the 20 cc syringe so what you're going to do with the syringe you're going to use, uh, I would prefer, I would recommend um, surgical blade. Not this one, because this one can break and it can cut you. So you use a surgical blade. You cut the tip somewhere here. You can use the normal razor blade to make a ridge. Then after you've made the ridge, you can use a knife. You can now use a knife on the ridge to cut. So that is just a demo. I already have my syringe here, which I've already cut. Eh? The syringe was looking like this, and this was the tip. So I've cut off the tip. Then you remove the, the plunger. Because this side is rough, you can't put it on your nipple. You use the smooth side. So you invert the syringe, you put your plunger, you push it up to the end. Then, now this is our nipple. You put it here. Then you gently pull. You gently pull. So you have to make sure that it creates a vacuum. So we are going to put it on the nipple. You push kidogo. Eh? Then you start pulling. When you feel there's resistance, you know there's now a vacuum. So you pull pole pole. You pull pole pole. You pull pole pole. So as you can see, it's holding. You can see it's holding on to the nipple. Eh? So you just pull, you pull, you pull, you pull. Then, now when you want to remove, you push it, you release, you release pole pole. You see when I release, it has made a popping sound. So it has released the nipple. Then again, you, you do the same. You push it kidogo, you leave some air, some space. Then you put it on the nipple. Then you start pulling. You start pulling. You see, it's holding on. So you keep on doing that, but you do it gently. If it becomes painful, that would be another problem. So you just do it gently. You keep on pulling. Then you'll do the same for the other breast. Then another uh, very key point. Do not forget to put the baby on the breast. Because the more they keep on uh, uh, suckling from the breast, is when the nipple will come out and if you're having that problem of your nipples being flat you also need to express the milk and you give the baby by cup but as you give by cup you alternate you give by cup the next feed you give you, you put the baby on the breast because if you don't do that the baby will forget to breastfeed and also your milk supply will go down so that is the simplest way of uh, making sure it will take some time you don't expect that you will start today and the nipples will come out. You need to do it over a few days uh, before the nipple comes out. And then there are those who complain that they have a very big areola. If you have a very big areola, we are not saying the baby holds on to the, the whole of that areola. They hold on to the nipple and part of the areola. Even if there, uh, there is still some areola remaining up, but as long as the baby is attached to the areola, we are good to go. So briefly, that was about helping a mother to have her nipples protracted. Thank you for watching. Remember to share, subscribe, like, and give me your comments. Thank you.